What's up guys, Black Horse here and welcome back to another video and today we're back on Football Manager for episode number 4 of Sonyor, our last career mode and if you've missed yesterday's episode, something tragic happened. We lost Iniesus Ganago uh, because of an injury, he will be uh, gone for 46 weeks if I remember correctly, actually no, 3 to 4 weeks, uh, meaning that he will miss the month of December, four games planned for that month, four, month, four games planned for today's episode. We are currently in seventh position in the league table, which is not too bad. Um, we are trying to make a run potentially for a European paying position. Technically, the top six is aiming for the, the Europe. So we'll see um, how that works out for us. But uh, we'll start the episode with a game against Bordeaux uh, and we'll wrap the episode up just before the transfer window. I mean, you're just taking the pace. Florian Sotoka is 900 for four weeks. That leaves me with one striker. I just have Corentin Jean. I mean, I might have like Arnaud Kalimundo. Ah, this is not good. Um, are you mad? Are, are you mad? Three days, three injuries. Two to three weeks for Tony Mauricio. Who had just found his place in my lineup because he's the only one I can play. I'm going to have to play Charles Bully on the right. Oh my god. I'm genuinely finished. If we get more than three points this month, I'd consider it a win. Genuinely. Sure, the game's not the toughest, but we have no offensive... Um, formation. Oh, we've got nothing. Going forward, we're not there. First chance of the game is for Bordeaux. With uh, Diego Lainez. Atembe Narfa in the box. Oh my god. Oh my god. We just let the man walk in our box. Really? That's how we're going to concede the first goal? Oh, fuck off with your graph. Oh, Jonathan Klaus. Jonathan, 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 Jonathan. Alright, 1-0 for Bordeaux. And there's a chance for Bordeaux as well. It's cleared by uh, our defense only as far as uh, Valentin Seric. Long ball for Corentin. Corentin! Oh my god, Corentin! Why would you hit the post? Why would you not take a touch? Half time or 1-0 down. Uh, I, don't, I don't care about the XG right now. I don't know what you do. Youssef Sabali. Sabali, the cross for Lainez, and Diego Lainez makes it 2-0. The former player from, uh, from Betis Sevilla, I think, makes it 2-0. I don't even think, I, I can't even make any, like, offensive change. Uh, I mean, Calimundo is going to come in for Corentin Jean. Uh, that's genuinely the only thing I can do here. Calimundo gets a one. Kalimendo gets a goal. I was uh, making substitution, so I didn't even see the, go the goal. I just saw the volley. But Arno Kalimendo gets one back. Come on, we're not done yet. Valentin Seric for Aydara. Aydara finding uh, a decent ball in the middle for Kalimendo. I think the goalkeeper could do better, if I'm going to be honest. But I'm not going to complain. That's 2-1. Come on, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Sabali, the long throw in for Wanguijo. Otavio, Yusuf Sabali. Sabali, cross for post for Lainez. And it's a big save from Farines. Yes. Come on. Come on, that could be the key save. That could be the key save. It's a corner nonetheless for, um, for the Girondins. Yassine Adli whips the ball in. Cleared by Pebern. Could it be a counter-attack for us with Jada Valencia? Come on, Jada. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Pen. Penalty! Penalty for Lance. Come on! All right. We don't have Kakuta anymore. I don't know who's my best penalty taker. We'll take a look ASAP. Uh, he's going to check for VAR, but it is a pen. It's a clear and definitive penalty. I don't want the, 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 the end of it. Uh, I can't change the penalty taker. Who's that? It's Valentin Seric. It's Seric. Get in, two all. Come on, we're back in it. Let's go. Let's go. It's first ever goal of the season. Oh, his first goal of the season, his first ever goal for Lens. Valentin Seric makes it two all. For loss. Oh no, what was that? Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god, Farines. Thank fucking god. You had choked so badly. And we're going to come home with a point from this fixture. Uh, 
I'd say it's not bad considering the lineup. Uh, yeah, and considering that we were two 0 down after seventy minutes, we did well to come back. We did well to come back, and there are some positives. There are some positives. We can actually score goals. Quentin is injured for two days. That's not too bad, I guess. All right. Um, I was making a few inquiries for uh, for strikers on the market, uh, but we now have to wait. What the fuck? Would... Why is my lineup like this? That's not the lineup I went for. I didn't put Valentin Sirica striker. That's that's dumb. What? Oh, okay, great. We're having Valentin Sirica striker apparently against Angers. Why not? Why not? Oh no no no, Corentin is there. It's probably like they're just having issues. I think. I hope. All right, we're on the way, and my lineup is indeed correct. I was scared for a second, but we move. Um, I've made a few inquiries for strikers on the market. There's two names that popped out. Um, we'll talk about them a bit later and more in depth when the, the window comes up. But um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to strengthen myself in uh, the offensive uh, sector, we'll say. First chance of the half at the 41st minutes. It is for us, I believe, Kael Kakuta. Uh, Seko Fofana, Valentin Siric, Valentin Siric, what a save by Paul Bernardoni. What a save by Paul Bernardoni. Free kick, uh, corner for us, the Kakuta, Cleda Pierre Capel. We could have, like, I don't know, chosen a different kit to play this game. It's just for, for the sake of my eyes. Seko Fofana still on the ball. Kakuta, Kakuta, no fouls. And uh, I believe that's the end of the action and probably the end of the half as well. Nil nil, that was the only uh, chance there was in this half. Potentially a chance for us to uh, kickstart the second half with Seko Fofana finding Charles Bolly. Or just Charles Bolly actually on the right. Uh, Bolly gets past his man in an odd way, crossing in. And there is absolutely no one. Aidarado on the ball. He knows, we know he can cross the ball. He's going to play it backwards to Fofana. Who plays it back to Aidara? Who plays it back to Fofana? Who plays it back to Aidara? Who plays it back to Fofana? Right, fam, it's time to stop that. Zemaili Boli can play to Corentin Jean. Et Cyril, Valentin et Cyril gets his second of the season, second consecutive goals for Valentin et Cyril after scoring the penalty against Bordeaux to give us a point. He scores against Angers to currently give us three. Come on, bit of a kerfuffle. Um, a lot, a lot of things happened. I, I don't exactly know how to explain all of that, but. It went in. Now that's going to be a free kick and potentially a, a red. I don't know. Was it a red? It was a red. It's a straight red for Angers. Throw in for us. Clément Michelin on the ball. Uh, looking potentially for Charles Bolly. Yes, he can find him. Back to, to uh, Michelin. Michelin the cross for Ducouré. Et Cyric, I believe he's on side. And if he is, that is 2-0. Game wrapped up. It's a brace for Valentin et Cyric. Coming in clutch. In uh, this, in those games where I don't have any strikers, big up, big, big up. Valentin um, on the receiving end of this header from uh, from Chic Ducouré. That's 2-0 with 12 minutes left. Bolly for Kakuta. What a ball. What a ball. Kakuta makes it 3-0. Who needs Ganago when you've got Kakuta? Uh, we do. We, we do. We do need Ganago. But it's 3-0 against Angers away from home. What a performance from the boys. Maybe a final chance in this game. Maybe a first chance actually for Angers. Nope. Uh, actually, I don't know. Potentially. Valencia. That's what's happening. Who's got the ball? It's us. Okay. Aidara. Kakuta. The ball is cleared. This is madness. Kakuta on the ball. For no one. Okay, it's a chance for Angers. That took time. Uh, but Pereira Lage can potentially find a through ball. He's going to find Tube instead, uh, thanks to a deflection, a straw from Tube, and Wilker Farines is on it. Final five seconds of this fixture, and with the ball out of play, I suggest that the referee will blow his whistle to call it a day. 3-0 for Lance against Angers, that is not something I saw coming. I really didn't. Oh, uh, that's not something I expected. Clubs have made offers for Matias Arezzo. Who is my target for this window? Um, have any of the offers been accepted? I'm going to come in with like a 1.5 million offer. That's going to be my like entry fee. Also, we have a draw for uh, the Coupe de France. Let's see who we can face. Uh, we can face teams from every single division. 
I swear if I end up on the Ligue 1, I'm gonna like be extremely angry. And we've been drawn against Schiltigheim, uh, a team from Alsace in National 2. So that's the fourth tier of French football. Uh, we'll be obviously playing away from home uh, as there is more than a two division gap. Uh, I'll take a look if there's any Ligue 1 clash. Let me take a quick look. Uh, we have we have a Montpellier Brest and a Marseille Dijon. There we go. Two Ligue 1 clashes. PSG will be playing against Entente San Juan Saint Gratien. Lyon will be going to Ajaccio and Marseille will be receiving Dijon. And how's Monaco? Where's Monaco? Monaco Monaco will be playing in it against Tonon Evian Genève, uh, which is a new club. Oh okay. My um. A striker, he's got five star potential, right? Uh, seven weeks injury. I have an issue with strikers, I really do. Okay, so uh, a river plate, uh, is, is that the real river plate? It's not, right? Uh, the real river plate is not in the other way, I think. Uh, they came back with 2.7 million and a 40% profit, uh, which I cannot remove. So we'll block that at 30 and we're gonna go with 1.9 million. 1.9 with a friendly, 2.2 with a friendly. I'm okay, you know what? I'm, I'm happy with that. 120 grand a month. That's what that's 30 a week. How would that fit in my uh, my wage? Yeah, let me take a look. Um, 30. Wait, no, he, he wants to be the biggest wage of the club. Are you mental? Mm, yeah, that I can do. You really want to strengthen the midfielders? If anything, I'll, I'll strengthen the defense if you want. Okay, he's happy. Good. All right, signing fee, I'll give you like uh, 800k. You won't get a yearly wage rise. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Uh, and per month, you, you'll get like 100 per month. We're going to start low. And then we'll, we'll work our way up. That's already better. 121. Do I try 121? Or do I just give it? Yeah, we'll try 121. Good. 121k per month. That's still a lot for an 18 year old, but he could be the future. All right. We're going to face Lorient in this fixture. Uh, Lorient, who are the other promoted side in, uh, in Ligue 1, alongside with Lens. They have a good team. Um, they have some players that I wished I had at one point. Uh, they have Christian Atsu on the bench, Imut Bozok, who's a threat in League 2, Gerbic, who was the, the top scorer last year in League 2, Johan Wissau is very quick, René Krin, uh, whom I thought of getting, and then I got, um, got Blerin Zemali, who will be on the bench today, Jeremy Morel, who's a proven Ligue 1 centre-back, uh, they've got good players, they've got good players, um, but I also believe that we have good players, however, because this is a game in hand, uh, I've had to go for some rotation, otherwise my team would have just been knackered after 23 minutes, so yeah. Uh, Farines, Klaus, Pebern, Medina, Silla, Kauzak, Dukure, Boli, Kakuta, Eseric, and Kalimwendo to make uh, the 11 today. First chance in the game, uh, and it is potentially ours with Gel Kakuta. Check Dukure. Medina, we're playing backwards a bit. Oh, here we go. Ici Agassila, Valentin, Eseric. Eseric in the box, and it's a big, big save from Paul Nardi to uh, prevent Long from taking the lead in the first chance of this fixture. It's a corner nonetheless with Gel Kakuta on the ball. Whips it in, cleared by Adrian Gerbic, only as far as Mathieu Pébern, but I believe the action is over. Half time, uh, and apart from that chance you saw, that was, there, there was nothing else. There was nothing else. Uh, I'm going to hand on hips, and I'm not happy with the performance. Now, uh, before we start the second half, I'm going to have to do one thing. I'm going to remove... Uh, actually, no, I can let Kakuta. He's rested a bit during this 15 minutes of half time, uh, but Gale most likely won't stay on for much longer in this fixture. We've made a few substitutions, uh, and with 15 minutes left on the clock, we're looking to maybe make another one. Jonathan Klaus will most likely leave the pitch. Uh, there's, a free, there's a corner though for Lorient. Le Goff, it's not the best of a 10, but it comes back in the feet of Lorienté. Uh, no fouls, no fouls. Oh, for fuck's sake, Blerim. It's, it's a penalty. It's, not, it's in the box. It's in the box. That's the issue. I feel like it's in the box. If it isn't, then I'm, I'm, I'm the luckiest person. But I feel like this is in the box. Also, I'm going to uh, make sure that I'm removing Klaus and have Michelin instead. There we go. I'm guessing it's a pen. Thank fucking God. <laughs> Come on. I'm going to try and give Sotoka a few minutes. Uh, he is 
not suit to play, uh, suitable to play or suited to play. But I, I, I kind of hope he's got a few minutes in him, like 10. Um, but there might not be any chance before the end of the game. There won't. It's a boring nil-nil draw between Lens and Lorient. At least, I guess it's not an L, uh, which could have been the case with that late, late uh, VAR call. Fourth game of the episode, uh, and we are heading to La Beaujoire to face uh, the uh, FC Nantes in uh, a, a key game. We are just behind them in the uh, league table. They have a decent side with the likes of Albon Lafont, Sébastien Corchega, Nicolas Palois, Ludovic Blas, Marcus Coco. Very pacey wingers. Moses Simon, even more pacey than, uh, than, Marcus, Coco, than Marcus Coco. Sorry, Kader Bamba and Khalifa Koulibaly. Uh, jean kino on the bench. I did not know that. Um, but they don't have a goalkeeper on the bench. So, uh, unless, now nah, Petric might be one. Yeah, Denis Petric is one. Okay. Uh, we've got Kakuta on the bench. We also have Ignacius Ganago on the bench. We're going to go once again with our, our five at the back formation, the one we've used earlier, on, uh, earlier in the season. Um, I'm giving Jean Calimundo a chance to do well. It most likely is Corentin Jean's final game with us. And immediately a chance uh, for us, actually. Oh, wow. Corentin Jean. Calimundo. Corentin Jean. Losing the ball. Yeah, that's, I prefer that. that. That's more like it. Moses Simon. Uh, oh no, oh no, not like this. What a save. Wilker Farinies is basically a god. I've talked about Ganago, but Farinies is on top of his game. Half time, and it is a shocking game. We've had one attempt, not on target. We have an XG of 0.09. Uh, I, I did, we got possession. But yeah, uh, we're going to uh, we're gonna need to, to change something. I'm happy with the performance. Are you mad? Uh, hand on hips. I'm not happy. Why would I be happy? Not like this. Not like this. Not like this. Corsia. Touré. Corsia. Marcus Coco is in a good angle to cross. No, no, no. No, it's not a foul. Now, I'm sorry, right? It's not a foul in my opinion. It, it, lo it looks like a clean tackle. They're going to give it. But it looks like a clean tackle. Uh-huh. Well then, Marcus Coco against Wilker Farinies. Wilker stopped one of these already. He does not this time. It's it's a perfect penalty. 1-0 for Nantes after, uh, or just after one hour of play. Maybe immediately an answer from Lance de, with Aydara. Aydara, Aydara for Eseric. This man. This man is too good. Valentin Eseric is the new Kakuta. No, the new Ganago. Four goals in four games for Valentin in this month. What a man! What a man! And he pulls us right back in! Right back in! Come on! Eseric. Eseric. Him again. He, he's, he's always him. Jonathan Klaus. We have a good chance there. We have a good chance. Jonathan Klaus. The cross. Corentin Jean. Ah, you have to score that. That's the kind of chance you need to convert, Corentin. That's probably why you're not going to play again with Lance. Ten minutes to go. We're going to make um, a tactical move. We're going to switch to um, the 4 2 3 1. We'll have a Siric on the left. We're going to maintain Kakuta. No, no we're going to have Kakuta. We're going to have Bully instead of Grazit. Uh, the rest of the team is good. And mainly, we're going to have the comeback of the prodigal son. <sighs> Ignacius Ganago to play the final minutes of this fixture. Hopefully, I'm not making a mistake. I hope I'm not. Let's go. 10 minutes. We've entered added time. And it seems like this fixture will come to an end. To an end, sorry. It's once again a draw. Uh, however, this time it's a very good draw against, Lon uh, against Nantes. We should have conceded a lot more goals in this game, but we didn't. And thanks to uh, a goal from Valentin Siric, we've managed to scrap a point here in La Beaujoire uh, and to stay within reach of Nantes in the league table. So that's very, very, very good. League table, uh, we are now in seventh place. Two points away from Monaco in P5. Uh, and should Nice win, win there'd be one point behind us. Um, so we'll maintain seventh place. We have uh, there's what two more games before the, the 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 half season. We might be able to. Wait, no, but they're after the start of the window. I'll see what I'll do. All right, uh, we've got. I have a dilemma. Matthias Arezzo, who looks someone like somewhat very good. Uh, wants an improved offer. 
he wants between 145 to 200 a month, which is not something I'm willing to give. I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm not going to I'm not willing to give him that. I have a secondary target, which is this man, Carlos Fernandez from Sevilla. He's 24 year old. Uh, he would fit in the lineup next to Ganago as a deep line forward, which is what I would require. Uh, he is on the transfer list for 3 million. And his weight is right now 90k. What do I do? You know what? I'm going to make an offer for him. All right, that's what I do. Uh, I'll, I'm literally panicking right now. Thank you very much. Make an offer. We're going to make an offer of 3.3 million, which they're going to say yes to. And uh, I'm going to end this episode here. What I want you guys to tell me in the comments, do I go for Matias Arezzo? Or do I go for Carlos Fernandez? I can't scout him. I can't scout uh, Arezzo right now. I mean, I haven't got the full report. He's three and a half star, uh, but he is 18 years old. And the reason as to why I'm, I'm, I'm saying that is, is that in one of my saves, I have a save in like, I have a save, sorry, in 2050, he became Ballon d'Or. And I have a slight interest in that. So yeah, the, the choice is your Matias Arezzo or uh, Carlos Fernandez. Let me know. Let me know. Uh, yeah, that, so that will be for the next episode. The transfer window will be for the next episode. We'll also face a uh, shielded game in the first round of the French Cup. We'll play against Marseille and Strasbourg uh, before having an international... Uh, the half season break I guess and then we'll face Lille, Nice, Dijon, Reims uh, and PSG basically the same start as uh, well the same beginning of the season uh, minus Lyon which we'll face in last. We've got a lot of games ahead of us but I do believe I do believe that uh, we have a shot at international football. As I said if you enjoyed the episode smash that like button let me know in the comments if you want me to go for Arezzo or Carlos Fernandez. If you want to see more of my content, then feel free to subscribe to the channel. Uh, I also have a podcast channel with the links in the description down below. And I will see you in the very near future. Actually, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. My name has been Blackwell, and goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold, I'm leading. What the mother man need feeding? I don't want to go bombi. Them, I don't know what I do when I go from bombi. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bad. Snapping with a phone and dab. Boss up a man with a duster. Put him in a drip and sip blockbuster.